हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई दीपिका रानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बॉटनी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन हरियाणा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक लीव एबसीशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज एबसीशन इन जनरल लैंग्वेज shedding of leaves flowers and fruits from the plant is called abscission it is a natural phenomena shedding of leaves from the plant without causing any injury is called leaf abscission deciduous plants shed their leaves in order to conserve water during autumn season however in case of evergreen plants there is a gradual process of leaf abscission in which the older leaves fall while new leaves are developed continuously throughout the year that's why they remain evergreen now we will see what is the physiology of leaf abscission as i have said it is a natural phenomena and leaf abscission is a complex physiological process to understand this let us take a look on what are the changes in plant physiology during the process of leaf abscission this initiate with first of all degradation of chlorophyll pigment and synthesis of anthocyanin pigment as you know chlorophyll is the green pigment present in the leaves when the leaf abscission process initiate this is the first step which occurs leaf abscission takes place at a particular site at the base of petiole this site is internally marked by a distinct zone known as abscission zone as the name suggests this is the site where the leaf abscission process will occur this abscission zone basically is made up of two distinct layers number 1 abscission layer or another name for this is separation layer as the name suggests it is the layer where breakdown of cells occur it consists of layers of cells formed by repeated cell division these cells contain starch grains and they have dense cytoplasm the characteristic feature of this separation layer is they lack lignin and suberin deposition second layer is protective layer as the name suggests it is the protective layer which protects the exposed surface area after leaf abscission from desiccation and pathogen invasion desiccation is the basically excess water loss and pathogen invasion means infection so protective layer is a like a shield which protects from pathogen and water loss here in this diagram uh, you can see position of abscission zone uh, in the left hand diagram you can see uh, separation layer superior cells of protective layers a new axillary bud formation and in the petiole region you can see there is a demarcation of distinct vascular strand here cortex bundles have detached but still there is a vascular conduction 
you can see in pink and bluish color this is the vascular strand which is uh, present still in the petiole region now what are the steps involved in leaf fall or leaf abscission first of all the parenchyma cells start dividing rapidly as we have discussed in the separation layer structure then there is secretion of layer of suberin in the walls near to the stem there is dissolution of middle lamella this is the major part which initiate the process of leaf abscission along with primary cellulose walls due to activity of hydrolytic enzymes like pectinase and cellulase at this stage there is only single vascular strand connection of petiole as i have discussed in the previous slide you can see due to own weight and little wind force then the leaf falls then what will be the next step after the leaf falls the scar get exposed to the air open environment uh, a protective layer is formed by deposition of lignin and suberin this is the basic purpose of formation of protective layer the broken vascular elements are soon plugged with tylosis or gums to uh, block the uh, complete conduction of water and minerals there will be uh, tylosis formation and healing of then next step is healing of wound in walls formation of a corky layer which protects the exposed surface area from desiccation and pathogen invasion now what are the factors affecting leaf abscission there are several environmental factors such as drought cold and nitrogen deficiency which promotes abscission one of the major plant hormone you know auxin it is strongly responsible for retarding senescence and abscission so you can say during the leaf fall there is a decrease in auxin hormone other hormones like cytokinins and gibberellins arriving from the roots they also delay the abscission on the other hand uh, phyto hormone ethylene you know this is the gaseous hormone and uh, uh, another name for this is fruit ripening hormone you know ethylene production leads to the cell wall degradation hence it promotes leaf abscission now at last we will see what is the significance of abscission first of all it helps in diverting water and nutrients to the young leaves it also shed off ripe fruits which help in their dispersal in case of lower plants shedding of vegetative parts helps in their propagation and at last abscission serves the function of removal of plant parts containing waste materials so as uh, in the definition we have see this is a natural process which doesn't lead to any harm to the plant and it's a uh, important phenomena for plant thank you thank you so much